Hey guys, it's me Izzy and I'm coming at you from my office where I'm usually at. Um, my cat just turned on my printer because he's trying to get in the one window that is open right now because it's raining outside and I want to hear the rain and experience it, but uh, the other windows are like full of water where the rain is hit. So I opened up the side window that doesn't hit other, or the rain doesn't come full on. And my cat keeps jumping on my printer and turning it on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. Anyways, so, um, yeah. My office is a mess, but it's actually looking better than what it did before. I had a major garage sale last weekend and um, I got rid of a lot of stuff, but not as much as I was hoping for. And there's another garage sale that's coming Saturday at a friend's house that I could take my leftovers to her house. Um, but I don't know if it's worth it because I'm actually peeling from the garage sale that I did and I got sunburned apparently and I didn't even realize it. I just noticed that my skin was peeling on my arms so it must have been that I got too much sun that day. And I'm trying not to sunburn this year. We'll see how far that goes because usually I love tan, but I'm getting older and I'm realizing that tanning definitely messes with your skin. Right, get, get off, get off, get off. Sorry, anyways. <laughs> I'm sick of him messing with my printer. I'm afraid he's gonna break it. Um, so yeah, that is what's going on right now. Um, this, this, this stuff, sorry, is other stuff that I wanna give to Goodwill. I just realized that when my parents moved out of here months, months, a year ago, yeah, it was over a year ago that they moved out, but I think my dad took the cables to my old computer. So this computer here doesn't have cables to actually turn it on and I actually wanted to like get rid of it to the point of just like throwing it away but I was worried about what might be on it not that there was anything bad on it but I just didn't want any personal information or like passwords logged into websites that were saved um, to be able to act be accessed by other people and so I wanted to like clear the whole hard drive and then there is no cables, so I don't know exactly what to do with that. And then there's a cork board, an old TV antenna, and some photo stuff, because I went through all of my photo gear, and guys, I cannot tell you, I did not realize how many cameras that I had. Um, my absolute favorite camera, apart from my digital uh, SLR that I have and love and is, you know, my main camera, but my old manual cameras that I have, um, one of them is broken when you flick the turn dial thingy to advance the film, it automatically takes a picture. So you don't press the button to take a picture, it just goes and takes a picture. So I either need to find someone that can fix it or get an incredibly steady hand to like advance it and hope that the camera stays still enough to take the picture <laughs> and that's not going to work. Um, so yeah, I need to fix that camera, but I also have another, um, that's a Canon AE-1, it's a completely manual camera. And then I have a, another camera that's more uh, I don't, electri electronically done. I don't know what version of Canon camera it is, but it's an old DS or old SLR camera. It's just a little bit more electronic. And then I've got two Minolta cameras that my grandma gave me from when she took pictures back in the day. It's got a lot of um, like close-up lenses that came with it and a tripod, so that was really cool to get and I haven't, like I got it and then I never really looked through the stuff so I spent all day, um, a couple days ago looking through all of the camera stuff I have. And then I also have a fish eye Lomography camera. If you don't know what Lomography is, go check it out. It's basically like the hipster version of taking pictures. It distorts your pictures in a way, um, whatever kind of camera that you get. It's meant to make pictures look old and it's fun. <laughs> so I bought a fish eye a long time ago and I have that camera that is there to take pictures and I decided to nestle that into my camera case with my actual digital SLR which is a Canon Rebel XTI I believe and I also Rafe can you get off my printer please please get off my printer he like knows that I'm yelling at him so he's just sitting there like really still and like I'm just gonna pretend I'm not doing anything right now mom <laughs> anyways so um yeah, I put the fisheye lens with my digital SLR Canon Rebel XTI and hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun taking pictures that are not just the normal 
pictures. Um, I really like fish eye lenses. They're kind of fun and they turn out funky pictures. But at the same time, you take pictures with a fish eye and it's not like something that you could use to like put up on a wall. It's more things that are just fun. And as I, I'm all into having fun pictures, it's more fun to have fun pictures when they are um, ones that you have like a digital version of them. And this uses a film camera, so you have to develop the film and spend the money to develop, to develop film and then spend extra money if you want to put it on a CD. So yeah, that's just that. I just kind of want to get back into it because I don't, I, I've told you this before when I was in the nursing program, like all of my hobbies and things that I love to do died. Like I just didn't have the brain power to keep up with anything of that sort. And also now that I've been out of the nursing program, it'll be, it's actually been two years in May. So this month, whoa, I did not realize that. Wow. Okay. So I would have been graduating two years ago in a couple of weeks, which is crazy. Oh my word. Oh my word. Um, so anyways, uh, I have, um, my point, gosh, that's crazy. I actually have dabbled in a few things, but just not really gone after anything for a, a good amount of time. And I kind of just want to get into things that I used to really enjoy. And photography was one of them. I started dabbling in painting with, um, dancing with my feet and paint and making art that way. But, um, that was also new. It was like learning a whole new technique and creativity outlet and it, it was fun and I wanted to keep doing it but it kind of fell to the wayside whereas photography is something that I'm familiar with and granted it's been so long that I don't know exactly how to do it anymore but I would love to get back into it and at least I have that basis of understanding of film and film pictures and yes it's so old school to be taking film pictures but I still think that um, really good film pictures are some of the best photos that you can see. So that's just kind of where I'm at with that. And I kind of brought out all that photography stuff to one, see if there's anything I can get rid of, and two, start taking pictures again. So we'll see if I actually get around to that. I'm going to San Diego in California in a couple weeks time for the ICU nurses convention. And I'm super, super, super excited about it. I just want to learn a ton. I can't even explain to you with work and everything of, of the last month has been insanely stressful and crazy and other things happen that now we have um, a new doctor and I'm so excited for my career right now and I hope it keeps on staying good because it's only been like six days that he's been there so we can't say for sure that it's gonna work out but um so far he's amazing and I'm hoping that the other one that's coming in is also amazing and I've learned a lot and this convention is should be great. Like I'll just learn so much and I wanna just retain all the information so that I could take it back to work and be like, look, this, this, and that, and blah, 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 blah. And we should do this on patient, blah, 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 blah. Um, so yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna get to do. Work, work is sending me, which is great. So they're paying for everything apart from my excess spending of like buying, I don't know what I would buy, drinks. <laughs> So um, I get to go to San Diego Zoo for one night for free and I've never been to San Diego. At least I went when I was a little girl, but I don't remember it. So this is the first time I'm actually going and I'm taking my little Mini Cooper and taking, going on a road trip and driving down there and it's going to take a really long time, but I'm really excited. So that's that. All right. So it's coming up on 11 minutes and I'm going to go and I hope that everyone's doing great. And I'm sorry that this update has been so long in the coming. But you know how I am, that's how I do it. This is more like uh, my diary of over time. Like I don't, I love having viewers and comments and please make them if you're watching this. I love having all of that. But I also know that I am never gonna be one of those successful YouTubers that garners so many views and gets so many comments and becomes YouTube famous. Like I, I know I'm not gonna be like that. So to me, these videos, like I look at them years later and it just reminds me of what I was going through at the time. So it's exciting um, to watch that. It's kind of just like a video diary and that's good. So <laughs> that's another one. Funny that it is a video diary is that I actually make a lot more videos and I just delete them because I think that they're not worth posting or I'm rambling on or it's over a certain amount of time and no one's gonna watch it if it's over a certain amount of time. 
which right now it's definitely over the amount of time that I would normally post a video. So I'm going to have to do some severe editing or just let it go. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. But that aside, it's funny that I make so many videos and then delete them. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, yeah. So I hope everyone's having a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!